one of the most requested things for RPG Builder was to be able to bypass the main menu uh, scene when we want to enter the game. It was, you know, not really time efficient and I listened to you, I made it possible in RPG Builder 2.0. You still need at least one existing character, so we're going to go ahead and make one. I'm going to call this one Blink. And now you see that we are in the game scene, all good. Now I'm going to go in the uh, demo scene. So we are no longer in the main menu, right? We are in the scenes that let's say we're currently working on and we want to quickly test. So we have two steps here to make sure uh, to do before we can actually um, you know, enjoy this feature. Number one is in the scene itself, you at least need a character loader. This is simply a game object with a script on it. You don't need the prefab. If you want the prefab, you can find it on the uh, essentials folder, but you can really just make an empty game object here and add the character loader component and it will do the exact same thing. And the last step is to go in the editor under settings, editor, character loader, load character, and here you will see up here all your existing character. We only have one right now, but uh, then you just select the one you want. And here it will tell you, you know, currently selected one blink. That's it. And now we can press play and it will load our character exactly uh, the same way as if it was coming from the main menu. So let's say uh, now I leave the game again and press play and we will reappear exactly on this rock like we were. Great, so that's very, very cool and useful for quick prototyping. Uh, not only in RPG Builder, you can, you know, do most of the development while being in game, but now even the things that kind of make you have to go outside of play mode are also very quick because of this uh, feature. So I'm sure you will enjoy that. Let me know what you think in the comment as well as on Discord and see you in the future videos.